And thanks so much for tuning into the Daily Dose for Spiritual Growth. This week, we're going to focus on Ephesians chapter 6, the second half of the chapter. Last month, throughout the series on Sunday mornings, we just finished a series called Battlegrounds last month. Uh, and it was um, an amazing series as we dove into different battles found in Scripture and how we can apply biblical principles to the battles that you and I face uh, today. And today, uh, this week, for the daily doses, we're going to talk about armor, specifically the armor of God. Uh, some of you know that uh, I've ridden motorcycles for the last, uh, you know, 10, 15 years just as a hobby, just something that I can tool around with. I consider it throttle therapy. It twists the, the throttle, I hear the noise. It's just something that I enjoy. Right now, I don't have a motorcycle. Some of you are like, yes, that's good. You shouldn't have a motorcycle. It's dangerous. I recognize the danger of it. Um, that's why it's important to have protection. It's important um, to have a helmet and to, to wear this. I don't understand um, why the state of Pennsylvania is actually um, a no helmet um, law, meaning you actually, by law, don't have to wear a helmet. Uh, by law, you don't have to have a jacket like this, which has uh, specific padding on the back here, on the shoulders, and on the elbows, um, there's padding there. But um, to be completely honest with you, there are times that I've ridden my motorcycle and actually ridden without this, I know, uh, and ridden without my jacket that actually has uh, protection. So if I were to fall, there would be uh, some protection there to, to alleviate some of the pain and injuries that I would uh, more than likely endure. Uh, and it's not like I didn't have access to my helmet or my jacket. It was days that I just was lazy. It was days that I felt it was too hot outside. I just didn't want to wear a helmet. I want to enjoy the wind or it's too hot to wear a jacket, so I'm not going to. And how foolish is that? You're probably like judging me and thinking like, why in the world, why would you do that? I understand. But how often do we go through life and don't put on spiritual protection? You see where I'm getting at. You know, we go through life. It's not like we don't have access to God's armor. It's that we choose not to put it on. And so my encouragement for all week long is that not only do we know that we have access to it, we actually choose to put it on. We don't become lazy or lackadaisical. It's like, no, you need it. Just like how um, you need to, if you're going out on a motorcycle, you need to put protection on. Um, you, we need to put spiritual armor, spiritual protection. Listen to Ephesians chapter 6, starting in verse 10. It says a final word, be strong in the Lord. And in his mighty power, put on all of God's armor so that you will be able to stand firm against the strategies of the devil. For we are not fighting against flesh and blood enemies, but against evil rulers, authorities of the unseen world, against mighty powers in this dark world, and against evil spirits in the heavenly places. Therefore, put on every piece of God's armor so that you will be able to resist the enemy in the time of evil. Then, after the battle, you will be able to still stand firm. And I'll just read um, the next few verses here as it talks about some of the pieces of armor. Stand your ground, putting on the belt of truth and the body armor of God's righteousness for your shoes to put on the peace for that comes from the good news so that you'll be able to fully be prepared. And in addition to all of these, hold up the shield of faith to stop the fiery arrows of the devil. Put on salvation as your helmet and take the sword of your spirit, which is the word of God. We're going to talk specifically about each piece of those armor um, pieces this week. But my encouragement today and every single day is that we choose to put on this armor because one thing that we know for sure. Now, when I'm on a motorcycle, I don't know if I'm going to, you know, uh, be in an accident or not. And that's why it's important to be prepared and to put on that armor or just choose not to, to ride. We can do that too. <laughs> um, but 
when it comes to the enemy, when it comes to our life, when it comes to spiritual matters, one thing we can know for sure is that the devil is going to fight. He is going to do anything and everything he can to, to shoot those fire arrows, to do, to try to steal, kill, and destroy our lives. So what are we doing to prepare ourselves every single day? I encourage you every single day this week to put on this armor. That's why we're going to talk about it every single day. Let, it's, not, it's not just enough to know that we have access to it. It's not just in, it's not just um, uh, enough just to uh, know that okay, the Bible is sitting on your nightstand. You actually have to open it up and read it. We actually have to put on that armor. So stay tuned the rest of this week as we dive into each piece of the armor. Hey, thanks so much for tuning in. Make sure you tune in tomorrow for the Daily Dose for Spiritual Growth.